we're going to do a uh, just a contour line drawing um, and starting with basic shapes. So the first video that I had you guys watch or, or do was to go in and find a still life from our subjects and to get that into your drawing app. And it should look something like this, depending on what you chose. I just chose the wine glass because it's the most basic form, I think, in those pictures. Um, and that's what I'm going to use as my basis for doing this drawing. It's my resource image. But before I try and draw it, I have gone through and I've marked the top and the bottom of my glass. I've marked where the stem meets the cup. I've marked approximate how wide it is, how wide the base is, things like that, just with some really basic lines. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit the red check mark and turn layer one off. So all I can see are those lines. Because what I want to do is get an idea of where this is going to sit. And I can even shrink this page down a little bit so that it is almost exactly the same size as my rectangle for now to help me get a quick idea of where this wine glass is going to sit. Okay. Now I can come back in, I can turn layer one on, and I can take out layer two so that I can actually just look at the picture now. But now I've got some guidelines. So now I can go in and I can look at the top of my glass and start fudging in this oval. And this is sketching, so we just draw right over the top, totally fine. We don't stop and erase. Doesn't have to be a perfect, straight, clean, perfect line. trying to keep my hand out of your way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm looking for ovals, circles, um, cylinders like this stem. Paying attention to um, like the stem part of this glass is more round than the top is um, and it's because of the angle. Um, the, the viewpoint of the eye is a little bit above and so objects or parts of the object that are farther away from us we look at a little bit more full on and so in this case that means that this sphere at the bottom is a little bit wider, a little bit more like a circle than the one at the top that's closer to our eye level, which is squinched a little bit. And then I can go back in, compare them side to side, and make some decisions like I can already tell, looking at this, 
but I probably should bring the stem up slightly longer. And again, I'm not even going to bother erasing right now. I'm just working on my eye and my sense of proportion. And then I'm going to look at the next one.